Hello and welcome back everyone. It is your girl Cassandra Olivia back with yet another video. And today's video is sponsored by a company called DY Hair 777. And be sure to hit that subscribe button if you have not already. If you are new, welcome. And if you are not new, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching my videos. As always, let's get straight to the point. So today's video, they sent me a U-part wig. It is 130% density. It is a Brazilian kinky curly U-part wig, 20 inches in the, in the color 1B. And it's um, a regular medium cap size, which is about 22 inches. So if you have not, check the description box below. There's a $10 coupon code if you use the word Olivia. And I will also put the details down below. But I just want to show you guys how this hair looks straight out of the packaging. So they were kind enough to send me this wig. And I called my sister Courtney in. You guys have just met her in the last couple of videos I've done. But Courtney and I have like four texture hair i don't want to say 4a 4b because i'm not sure what the hell type of hair we have but i just want to go ahead and do like a really quick install video and i figured this wig is close to both of our textures i cannot install it on myself only because i have in braids and i don't plan on taking them out for another week or so so courtney is here welcome her and she's pregnant so don't mind her snake face she's just sitting here chilling we were actually ordering doordash because she was starving so i'm going to go ahead and do like a simple easy install video on natural curly hair Courtney has not put heat in her hair since I want to say she hasn't pressed the hair for over a year but she's only blow dried her hair twice in the last year so I wanted to keep the integrity of her hair and because she was going to press her hair right after this video I decided just to do something quick so if you're natural I just put a little bit of conditioner in she did have a little bit of gel but we just saturated her with a ton of water I did use a paddle brush to detangle her hair and I'm just going to go ahead and put in some french braids because she does have a smaller head and her hair is pretty easy to get through. I'm gonna throw in some natural curly braids, pin them up, and we we're gonna pop this wig on Lazy Girl Method. Super easy, super natural uh, hair friendly, so you don't have to worry about blow drying her hair or anything like that. And I'm just gonna show you guys how I installed this. So I just parted her hair at the top and did the leave out that we need to leave out. And then I'm just gonna go ahead on the sides and put in two French braids and then proceed to pin those two French braids up. And then we're just gonna pop the wig on. Like I said, this is the Lazy Girl Method. You guys know whenever I do wigs, I try not to do something that's gonna take forever. Literally, I put on wigs to be quick and convenient. So I try to find the easiest way out to install my wigs. So we're just gonna do that. And I'm making sure to add um, a little bit of conditioner in her hair and some drops also, just to keep her hair nice and healthy. And as I'm braiding her hair, I'm just finger detangling her hair at the same time. I'm just making sure to take it nice and slow, but I did speed this up just because I don't want the video to be super long. But as you guys know, I'm used to doing natural hair, curly hair, straight, whatever. So I'm just working with her natural texture and we're opting not to do her hair twice and press it out twice or put a lot of heat in it, which is why I chose to do the natural method. So here are her two French braids and I'm just gonna pin those up and I'm gonna put a bobby pin on each side just to keep the braids nice and secure because this U-Par wig is ideal if you're trying to just get up and go and it's curly, so which means we don't have to do a lot to it, just part the hair and keep it moving. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting this lace piece that's on the U-Part wig. Then I'm just gonna fit it on her head to make sure everything is nice and snug. I did not have to adjust the band in the back of the cap, but you can if it's too small or if you need to loosen it, you can do that as well. But I just went in how it is and I just undid the clamps and I'm just gonna position it on her hair. So I'm gonna put that first comb in the back and I'm just gonna attach the two combs on the side and then snap all of the clips on the inside of her hair. So now we have her leave out and I'm just gonna go ahead and twist that. I'm gonna part her in the mirror because I'm terrible at doing middle parts. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and spray her down with some water and conditioner. And then I'm gonna add in a little bit of the Kaleidoscope Milkshake, which is also a leave-in conditioner mist for the hair. Keeps it nice and hydrated, along with some Fanola oil. I mixed a couple things and I'm just also gonna add in a little bit of Influence Honey Almond Foam, just to make sure that her curls and these curls blend seamlessly. And because her hair was naturally curly when she came in, I did go in with a rat tail comb, but because I know my sister's texture and the hair when you separate in very small sections is not that thick, I went ahead in very tiny sections with the comb just because I wanna make her curls super defined so that way they melt in with the unit. So disclaimer, if you have somebody with thick hair, you would never do this, but she's my sister. Her hair is very similar to my texture. We do not have thick hair at all. So it was easy for me to do this. But you can go in with the easy detangler brush. You can also go in with a paddle brush or a wide tooth comb, whatever you decide. Just make sure that what you're using is appropriate for your hair type. 
So here I am just showing you guys how I'm gonna blend it. And I'm just going in, like I said, and detangling every single last piece of hair. I'm gonna put some foam wrap in and then allow that to dry. So now I'm just going in with those products that I mentioned before, and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend her hair and show you guys how it looks. Again, I will tag all the products that I use down below as long as the company um, information. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check their hair out if you're looking for a natural kinky curly wig for natural hair. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. I do apologize for the background noise. There's actually a bug in the garage. It's like a huge centipede on the wall. There was two of them and I had to call my husband to come rescue me because I'm super scared of bugs, period. So that's that noise that you just heard. He came to my rescue and handled that for me. So this is just the foam wrap and I'm just gonna let this air dry. You can use a blow dryer or you can put them under the dryer. I opted not to. And I just made sure that I did the same thing with the hair underneath so that way everything is nice and uniform and the hair at the bottom isn't dry and the hair at the top is saturated. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Check out DOI Hair 777, and I will see you guys in the next video. Everybody have a wonderful and productive day. Bye. That's why I smoke, boy.